<clears throat> Welcome everyone for a new tutorial on AWS Code Start. So uh, today I'm going to show you how you can use AWS Code Start to uh, launch your applications very fast and quickly in AWS and then uh, manage your applications with a CI CD pipeline. So let's get started. So first I'm going to search with uh, Code Start. And in the search bar, you will see code start here. Click to go to the details of code start. So what it says that quickly deploy, build, and deploy applications in AWS. So not only you will build the application, but also you will run unit testings, all those things into one single click. So let's see. I'm going to create a new project here and the project I'm going to use. There are some sample applications available which you can try use. I'm going to use the uh, Python application here. So let's see Python Plus. The project name. So Python demo. What kind of repository I'm, we are going to use? So I'm going to use code commit. If you are using GitHub, then you can choose GitHub. It will automatically create a repo here. So EC2 configuration, choose the instance type. I prefer a T3. So T3 micro will be better. VPC, we have to choose VPC. And there is already a key pair available. Either you can use it or you can create a new one. It's up to you. So once you fill up these informations, go to next. This will give you an overview of what you have selected. So we have selected a Python template framework with Flask. And uh, we have created a repository, Python demo. And we have selected this instance like T3 Micro. So let's get started. <laughs> So this will give an option, uh, like this is optional to select an IDE, but I'm not going to choose that. So I'm going to use this. <clears throat> this will take some time because what will uh, what it will do in the background is it will create a two instance. It will create a cloud formation template, which will actually create all those uh, like pipelines, uh, code build, code deployment, all those things here. So it is kind of a one click. And that's the benefit of, of using this. And uh, other thing is it's uh, quite easy to manage. You don't have to manage all those things that is behind the infrastructure. For example, you don't have to install Python. You don't have to set up those uh, applications to run on Python so that <clears throat> all the uh, hard work that has been, that needs to be done for setting up the infrastructure is done by AWS on behalf of you. Your part is just to write the code. So what you are good at. If you are good at in like uh, writing codes and you wanted to just deploy your applications without worrying about how how actually it's deployed in the background, I then I think code study is quite an uh, ideal choice for you. Also, you can use team uh, members to integrate in your uh, code study project. So you can add more team members. <laughs> You can delete team members to give them access. So uh, I'm going to pause the video for a minute because this is going to create a lot of things in the background. So let's pause the video. Okay, I'm back. So after a while, I see uh, there are a lot of activities. So let me explain. Uh, in the background, these are the things that has been created on behalf of you. So. So it shows us that it created an uh, S3 bucket. It created a cloud motion template. It created a code build. It created code commit repo. It created code deploy and also created code pipeline. And it created some IAM roles as well. So if we go to pipeline here, we will see that uh, how the process actually works. So this is application source. It is building, then deploying the cloud motion sets. Quite awesome. Now, if I go to the overview and let's see, how can I get the application endpoint URL? So this is the EC2 instance, right? Now, if I click here, 
and it will send me to the instance page. Here it is, the instance. And if I get its public IP and then open it a new page. Yeah, here it is. So output is hello world. That's awesome. And let's go to verify whether what is our code commit report. So in the code commit, if I go to hello world, and go to the application dot by. Probably we will see that uh, it says output equals to hello world. Let me make an edit here. So what we will do is copy this and paste it slash let's see test hello test let's see. I just keep some dummy values here and it changes and it will trigger the pipeline let's see here pipeline yeah here is the pipeline has been triggered you see source changed it will build it will deploy and then it will change the application here so if we do then test, it should show that uh, test output that we have written here. Let's see. So I made a mistake. It should be get test because get is already there. So it is duplicate. I just tested it in my code. Sorry about that. It actually failed in the build process. Let's see if this is working fine. <clears throat> okay, so we see that deployment went well. Here is the pipeline. So our changes, code beat worked well, deploying, it's going to be deployed. And I just tested here. So it shows a good hello test. It also integrates with uh, unit testing. So like uh, if we go to the code examples here, you see that in the test folder, it is used by test. So go to the test application and you will see the unit tests floating in here. You can add your own test and code beat will automatically uh, run your tests before sending out artifacts to the production. So it's quite useful for people who wants to uh, just code and deploy the applications with easy unit testable uh, infrastructure. I hope this helps you to get started with code start. It is very easy and uh, you can deploy an application with just a few clicks. So thank you for watching this uh, video. I hope you will uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.